Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I am here to share another St. Patrick's Day card with you today. Hey everybody, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Octagon dies, their Lucky Charm outline dies and the Lucky Charm stamp set, along with the St. Patrick's Day word dies, the gnome, the gnome dies and the gnome St. Patrick's Day add-on dies. And I went ahead and I assembled this guy uh, for our last release. And I'm going to quickly put this card together. So the top layer is Doodle Bugs uh, pot of gold paper. It was cut out of um, it was cut out using the octagon dies. So these are the two largest. So the largest is the green, and you'll see that's from Bazil Bling, and I'm using the the more matte side of it. And there we go. Now that paper behind there is paper tray ink white cardstock 4.25 at 11 4.25 by 11 scored at five and a half inches but i'm going to be using it horizontally today so i'm just using my atg tape and i'm going to apply that to my card and um i'm going to have it like a you know open open like sideways sort of like a book there we go just trying to make sure it's lined up correctly and then I'm taking my Fiskars trimmer and I've got a piece of paper lined up along the cut edge so I can easily see what I'm cutting off. And I'm just trying to line it up and I'm just trying to mess around with this. And I realize I got to put it the other way. The other way is what I want. I kind of want to know exactly where I'm cutting it and I want to use a guillotine trimmer because I can go through both layers of the paper tray ink white cardstock. And I'm going to make a shaped card just like this. So this is one of the easiest ways to make a shaped card. Especially if you've got straight edges, super easy stuff. There we go, I'm just going to get this all. <laughs> and of course I'm having issues, my taped piece of paper lifted. I'm just trying to get a nice even white border around my little card. So this is, you know, normally easy peasy stuff, but I'm just having a I'm having a hard time today, not, think, not, not thinking too clearly. There we go. Get the last two pieces out. And then there we go. So perfect. I just find this is the easiest way because I can see exactly where that guillotine blade is cutting. Um, some people could, you know, eyeball this, but not me. I'm terrible at eyeballing things these days. There we go, just trying to make sure I get a clean cut. And I will grab a pair of scissors because uh, you know I kind of kind of bent the cardstock there. And there we go. So now I've got a side fold card. I'm going to put it sideways. There we go. I'm using our spring dies. And you'll see that I already have my word dies cut out. Now the happy is from the birthday word die set. And those are all cut out of American Crafts cardstock, and I'm using um, CTI Glamour Translucent Paper. I think it's like 28 or 29 pound, and that's from cutcardstock.com. And those were all assembled for the video um, that I did for our release and review. So now I'm going to add this little adorable gnome, St. Patrick's Day gnome, to the corner. And I'm just going to trace where he's hanging off with a little gel pen. And then that way I know where to apply my glue and where to line things up. So I'm just going to be using a Nouveau glue. And of course it's was a little bit clogged there, but there we go. I'll apply the glue and sort of make sure I don't apply it where it's hanging off the edge of the card there. And then I'm going to line up the point with the point of his beard. So there we go. I'm just trying to make sure he's perfectly in the corner. There, yeah, and I'm lining up that little beard point. And there we go. And I'll just weight him down. Now on the inside, I'm using a piece of paper um, from, um, I can't even remember what it's called. It's like a, it's from Doodlebug, but it's like a, almost like a journaling paper. It's 12 inches. And I'm just cutting this nice um, hound's tooth that was on the edge of it. And I'm just trimming it off. But you could use any paper for this. This is just for decorating the inside.
There we go, trimming off my overhang. Because, you know, I like to add something to the inside of the card just to make it a little bit more special. There we are. So like I said, the words on the front, that is from the happy birthday or the birthday words um, die set and the um, St. Patrick's Day word dies. Now on the inside, I'm adding this uh, lucky charm stamped sentiment along with the outline dies. Shake your shamrock on the inside of my card. I was just using Ad Tech glue runner there. And now I've got, this is from the um, spring banner dies, and I just trimmed it right off the banner. And I'm going to add that to the inside. Now I'm going to stick down these sentiments. This one is, um, this one says shamrock. So I'm thinking of doing um, happy shamrock day is what I was originally thinking. So we'll get this one glued down in place. Just dots of glue behind the solid green. Try to line it up there as best as I can. There we go, weight it down. And then I will check to see what's going on, just to make sure it's straight. Then I will add my happy, and I'm going to have that at an angle. And like I said before, that's from the birthday word dies. The nice thing is, is you can mix all of the word dies because they're all the same size and the same font. So that's pretty handy. So you can kind of like every time they release a set, you can sort of collect them and you're going to have a lot of words that you can use for different sentiments. Now I was planning on using the word day, but I end up changing my mind because I made a mistake. I, I adhered them too low. So I'm using the happy hello stamp set and I'm going to stamp the word day and the word to you onto white cardstock from Paper Tray Ink um, in Mode Lawn Distress Oxide Ink. So cute. Now the um, gnome was built using American Crafts cardstock for the hat, the little shamrock he's holding, his little beard, that's all American Crafts cardstock. And then his skin tone in this were was like peach cardstock from Worldwind Worldwind cardstock, that, that was the brand name at the time. There we go. And now I'm stamping on the sentiment. So it'll be happy shamrock day to you is what I'm going for. And I'm going to stamp on this little strip. And I'm, I love this happy hello stamp set. And you might wanna, you know, Remember this set because something's coming in the future that'll make everybody happy. If you like this set, you're gonna love what's coming soon. So, you know, keep an eye out for that from Jada Blossom, some new stuff. There we go. I'm just making sure that I've got a good stamped image. The nice thing about Distress Oxide Ink is it stamps really well with sentiment, so that's kind of handy. There we go. Now I trimmed out my sentiment and I'm going to be using Doris Foam Strips. And I'll just put two on the back because that's the exact size that I need. And I'll just trim off the overhang with my uh, EK Success scissors. There we go. And then I'm going to pop that underneath the shamrock. So it says, happy shamrock day to you. There we go, which is kind of fun. And it makes it kind of simple, right? It's a nice, simple card. And then again, I'll add these little shamrocks. Those were cut out using Bazil Bling. Um, with the shiny and the and the matte side. And I'm just using my Nouveau Crystal Glue, or Nouveau, Nouveau Glue, sorry, to add those to my card base. There we go, so I'll put pop two of those on. There we are, kind of cute. And then I'm pulling out um, Shape Sprinkles from um, Doodlebug. They'll be listed on my blog, I can't remember what they're called, and I can't really see it in this voice over here, but um, they're sh October Sky, is that what they're called? I don't know, but they'll be listed on my blog, like I said. And I'm just going to sprinkle a few of the green ones on the background, cause, just because they kind of blend with what I got going on here, which is kind of fun, right? There we go. I think Doodlebug needs to, you know, have some shamrocks. I don't know, what do you think? I don't think that they've released those ones. I might be wrong, but I don't have those. And I think I need some of those in my life. There we go. So how cute is that? So thank you so much, like I said, for stopping by. Now, oh, yes, I forgot. I thought that the uh, ward dies kind of blended in too much. So I decided to do a second layer to give it a little bit more um, oomph. So I'm pulling out my art glitter glue. I can't believe I forgot that I did this. Sorry, guys. 
and I'm just going to apply it to the green and then I'll apply a second layer and then it just gives it a little bit more dimension and a little bit more presence. So it kind of pops a little bit more onto the background. Now, if you would have done this in black or something, obviously it would have popped, but the green matches, um, you know, the, the background um, octagon dye and it just kind of blends with my background a little bit more than I would have liked. So I'm just going to line that up. And that, like I said, that will give um, the sentiment just a little bit more oomph. There we go. See, like, look at that. Like, I don't know, I just think it makes it look so much better. And then I'll do the same thing with the word happy. And, um, you know, I'm loving these word dyes from Jada Blossom. I know I say this all the time, but I love word dyes. And I love this font. And look at it, they just cut like butter and they have a nice rounded edge. So much better than an SVG, like especially when it comes to words. My goodness. And look how pretty that looks. I just think it turned out great. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog and get inspired by the design team and maybe to the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these goodies. And thanks for watching my videos. We will see you soon in my next one. Bye everyone.